To perform the compaction means, first of all, to add the corresponding water. So since the sample is dry, the water content is nothing else than the mass of water over the mass of dry soil. So we are going to calculate the needed water by taking the sample multiplied by the, the needed water content. As I said, from the inspection, we are going to do the test with 16%, 18%, 20%, and 22%. Since we have around 25 kgs there, so you can take for one test, you can take around 6 kgs there. And as we decided, we are going to use, going to use the method C. And we are going also to use the modified compaction effort. It means we are going to use this rama make sure that the sample can be extracted, extracted easily. He's going to put some oil. And this is the cora. So first of all, we have to weight the water that we need, 16% of 6 kgs. 16%, they are nine, uh, 960 grams. So you weigh the water, and then you have to mix. He has to mix it until it becomes homogeneous. And as said, with this method C, he's going to use that mold. Please add also this cora. After mixing, is going to compact in five layers. And those layers have to be homogeneous and continuous. That's why after every layer, he's going to scratch so that he makes sure that the layers are continuous, are linked each other. Now he puts one fifth. Please add also the cola. It's better. Yes. And he's going to use 56 blows per layer. And the hammer has to be straight and And he has to move around so that it does not it doesn't compact on just one point. That is the first layer. Now you have to put joints, wait. Take the spatula, the scratch here. That was the first layer. Please keep the hammer straight. So now he has already five layers. The next step is to remove this cora and you are going to trim. After the compaction, please remove the coral. After removing the coral, we are going to trim using a straight edge. So 
after trimming, now we have a compacted material in our mold. So we are going to take the mass of the compacted material with the mold. Remember that we have already taken the mass of the mold, so please weigh the compacted material. And then we are going to record the mass, which is 12 kgs 17.5. After recording this, you see for the compaction, we are dealing with the densities. From this, we have the mass of the material and the mold, and the mass of the mold, and you have the volume of the mold. From there, you can get the density. For the results, we need the dry density. From the weight density, you can get the dry density when we have the moisture content of the used material. We cannot say that the moisture content in that material is perfectly 16% because there may be some delays, there may be some evaporation and so on, or there may be some humidity from the air. So for that reason, we are going to take sample from the compacted material, and we are going to use it for the moisture content determination. So we're going to take sample there and put in each pan, and then we are going to put in the oven. Take the sample. After taking the sample, we are going to record the mass of the pan and the weight material that we have just put it in. So we record the mass. This is uh, 349.0 gram. And now this material has to be in the oven to dry it. Normally, it is required to use at least 16 hours for normal soils for the moisture content determination, but for the security and to make sure that the material is completely dry, no error, we are used to consider 24 hours here. So we put in the oven. The oven must be set at the temperature between 105 and 110 Celsius degree for the normal soil, except for some special cases such as gypsum or soils with high organic matters that may be affected by so high temperature. For example, the gypsum may lose its hydration water. In that case, it will become Anidra, uh, it will become another material. Hence, there are special temperatures for that, which are mostly between uh, 50 and 80 degrees, uh, and we extend the time. But for our soil, this is the normal soil, a clay silt. We are going to consider 105 up to 110 Celsius degree. So please put in the oven. And the compaction with 16% uh, with water content is done. And we are going to continue with the next tests. We are going to prepare now the samples with 18%, another with 20%, and another with 22%, and compact in the same manner.